I did it all! Within a half hour! What? Doesn't this look convincing? Alright. You got me. It's a really bad green screen. Did I have any food? No? A little bit? I feel terrible now. I feel absolutely horrible. I feel like a piece of crap. I just... I'm a scoundrel. I'm garbage. I am so sorry for lying to you like that. I promise I will never do it again. Hi, I am Keith, and welcome to week six of my weekly weight loss vlog, Up the Peak. This week, we're going to talk about my most recent weight loss, we're going to talk about an experiment I tried, and we're going to talk about what I did for my exercise. So why don't we just jump right into things. Let's start with the weigh-in. So I went up to the VA clinic this week, and when I weighed in, I have now officially lost 46.4 pounds. My weight was 361.1. So that's 46.4 pounds from where I started at the end of January when I was 407.5. But I want to point something out to you. There is a little bit of a trend going on right now. Whereas in weigh-in number one, I was down just over 18 pounds, and then weigh-in number two, I was down just under 15 pounds. Weigh-in number three sees me at 13.3 pounds. So as you can see, despite me increasing my workout, the weight loss is slowing down a little bit, which is fine, I anticipated this. I'm really hoping, at least for the duration right now, I can maintain about a five pound a week loss which would be 10 pounds every other week. I know at some point I am gonna plateau with it. I just have to make sure I push through and don't let that discourage me. But as far as the weight loss goes right now, it is incredible. I have 46 pounds less on me than when I started at the end of January. So that's been helping me out, getting up and down, moving around. I'm not carrying that extra weight so I can move around a little bit better, which feels awesome. Oh, I got the greatest compliment the gentleman that usually gives me my testosterone shot, he's also been gracious enough to film me when I'm weighing myself. He, uh, he made a comment about my weight this week. He had said that uh, watching me drop the weight the way I have has been kind of inspiring to him. It's always good to hear you're having some kind of a positive effect on somebody. The doctor, however, wasn't totally thrilled about the amount of weight that I've lost since the end of January. So I have to meet with the doctor this week and we're gonna go over some of my uh, vitals and hopefully everything is gonna be okay. I mean, I feel a lot better. There is risks with losing this much weight, and I do jeopardize my metabolism, but one of the reasons that I'm snacking as much as I am is to keep the metabolism going. As far as the diet goes, I experimented this week. I saw this video online, a whole series of videos, but one in particular, that said if you ate six cloves of garlic, Within a 24 hour time period, you would have all these extra health benefits. So as an experiment, I filmed a little segment where I gave it a test. Uh, unfortunately, the results weren't as good as I'd hoped. And I think the problem with that was I didn't use enough garlic. Now, it said six cloves of garlic. And the first video I watched on how to roast garlic, it had you cut off the top quarter of the garlic and then put the olive oil and the seasonings in there. Well, it didn't occur to me until after the fact that I wasn't getting six full cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna reattempt that experiment this week. Hopefully I have better results. I'll give an update on that in week seven. Um, wow, week six has come to an end and week seven begins, can you believe that? So this week with my workout, there was still way too much snow to go to my track. So last week we got slammed with a large amount of snow. And when the plow truck got my driveway, it pushed all the snow into this big pile around my truck in the backyard. So while I couldn't shovel the walker at the end of the driveway, I was able to work on this big pile of snow. So each day this week, I moved the pile slightly over, slightly over, about spending about an hour each time. Shoveling snow, I know I've said it before, I'll say it again, shoveling snow is an excellent way to burn the calories. So. That was great as far as the workout goes. I'm really hoping I can get back on the track in the upcoming week. I mean, hopefully, we are almost halfway through March right now and the weather should start improving. 
I bought brand new sneakers. You know, um, I've been wearing them around the house to break them in. I'm looking forward to getting on that track to start working on my time. I'm pretty sure when I start back up again, I think what I'm going to do is instead of focusing on the time in the beginning, I am just going to try to walk the six miles at one time, regardless of how long it takes. And then once I get to the six mile mark, then I'll start proving the time from there. I think I'm ready. I really do. I know I haven't walked in over a week now, but like the snow shoveling, I've been doing that. The dieting has been going great. As you can see from the beginning of this video, the weight continues to go down. So I think I'm in that weight range where I can walk six miles. Previously in the past when I was losing weight, I was able to walk six miles when I got down to around this weight. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do it now. Speaking about the weight, I'm sure you've heard of it. There's a show that was on called The Biggest Loser. So what The Biggest Loser was, it was a competition between large people to see who could lose the most amount of weight in the time period. Now, doing a little research on that, I saw that a lot of people that were on that show gained the weight back, usually within the first few years. So going into this, I acknowledge the risks are real. Now, look what happened to me. Here, here I am in 2016, I was 292, and then I ballooned back up to 407, all within one year. So I know how easy it is to gain the weight back again. So me taking these steps again, I am acknowledging that this isn't just a temporary thing. This isn't just I'm going to lose the weight, get down to a certain weight, and then that's it. As far as I'm concerned, when I get down to my target weight, the war has just begun. Because now I have to maintain. I foresee myself using my fitness pal probably for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that. You know, I don't deprive myself of anything. I still eat delicious foods. Just yesterday, I had another one of my cheeseburgers. You know, um, I love the grilled chicken. I'm getting variety in. And the more I work out, the more that I burn, I will be able to introduce other foods. And once in a while, I will afford myself a cheat meal. I don't have to be a glutton about it. And gluttony, on top of the depression and everything, is what got me in this mess. You know, depression, as I got into before, it is an ugly thing. It plants this seed inside your mind, and, and before you know it, you have no ambition. All you're doing is shoveling food in your mouth, and you're getting progressively fatter. So for the time being, I've been able to hang on to my motivation, and I'm fully milking that for as much as I can. I don't know if it's going to happen again. More than likely, I'll fall back into some form of depression. Uh, it's been a rocky road for the, like the last you know decade plus, but I'm very confident now that I have a target in my mind, that I can make this work. I have been trying to keep this off my social media. Not YouTube, obviously, that's where you're watching this. But back in 2016, when I was making the leaps and bounds with the weight and I got below 300, I did this big post about being under 300 for the first time in years. And You know, for me to be posting about this again on social media seems a bit redundant. You know, I'm going to be like, hey, everybody, I just lost 46 pounds. And they're going to be like, oh, hey, great, Keith. What's your weight down to now? And I'm going to be like, 361? And they're going to be like, I thought you were below 300. And frankly, I don't want to get into that. I'm not going to be posting anything on my Facebook, more than likely until I'm underneath that 300-pound mark, which is 61 pounds away right now, which is hopefully in the next few months. It's, it's embarrassing to, to lose all that weight and then gain so much weight back. You know, there, there are people that are rooting against you. I know there are people rooting against me. And in a way, it's kind of motivational, you know, especially when you're dropping the weight again. Like, I did such a great job of hiding out when I was packing all the weight on that despite losing all this weight that I've just lost in the last month and a half, in the last six weeks, these people that haven't seen me don't know that. They see me as gaining weight. And it's kind of like, you know, some of them, you know, they, they won't comment on anything. Some of them might make a little comment here and there. What a good feeling it is knowing the weight's going down. I just have to stay the course with it. And that's what this is all about, staying the course. One thing I am going to do to prepare for the hike, being in upstate New York, there are a lot of places I can go hiking. And as a friend told me this last week, there are peaks here within New York State that I can start with. So this summer, when the weather improves, I'm gonna start going out to some of these locations and I'm gonna to start to climb them. 
it's great warm up, it's great practice, and it's great exercise. It would be a mistake not to. So that about wraps things up for week six. Um, by all means, leave a comment. Let me know what's on your mind. If you have any questions you want to ask, maybe a challenge you want to throw to me while I'm doing this, um, feel free. Encouragement is welcome. Criticism is very welcome. If you're someone that knows a lot about health, and if you see me doing something wrong, by all means, give me a little input, a little feedback. I can improve my workout. I can improve everything I'm doing. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button. Um, if you share it, I'd appreciate it. And oh, a big shout out to my now five subscribers. That's right. Last week we were at four. This week we're at five. Maybe next week we can be up to six. I don't know. We'll see. Well, that about wraps things up right now for this week's episode of Up the Peak. I will be back here next week with an update for week seven. Until then, have a great week. Thanks for watching.